Welcome back again to She Said Tells. Last Thursday, Honorable Junette Mohammed and Governor Ali Hassan Joho almost broke the internet when they shared a series of photos heading to Dubai aboard a lavish private jet. It wasn't long before social media detectives noticed that lady's handbag that just happened to be lying around. And that's how the rest to figure out which lucky lady had accompanied these two honorable Moshimiwas to Dubai started. At first, Betty Chalo was the main suspect given her former history with Governor Ali Hassan Joho. Social media detectives linked Betty Chalo to that mysterious handbag because she apparently owns a similar one but she soon laid the matter to rest when saying that she's still in the country tending to her businesses and she hasn't flown out yet. It wasn't long before another name came up and that was Natalie Tewa. Natalie Tewa has been to Dubai before and on her past Dubai trip, she happened to have been carrying a bag that strikingly resembles the one that was on the private jet. At this point, these were all just speculations and no one could actually prove that Natalie Tewa was out of the country. There are also claims that Natalie Tewa could have actually started dating Governor Ali Hassan Joho in the past month or so because she supposedly took a trip down to the coast when Nairobi County was under lockdown. It wasn't until the Obari Nation gang came up with actual concrete proof that Natalie Tewa is actually in Dubai that all hell broke loose. The first bone of contention that netizens had was that by publicizing Natalie Tewa's visa, Edgar Obari had invaded her privacy. The second issue was a series of screenshots that Edgar shared where he was having a conversation with another lady who was alleging that she had also accompanied the two Mushimiwas to Dubai. While the context of these messages is well understood, what's problematic is the tone. It comes across as if Edgar is forcing this girl to go out of her way to stealthily take photos just to prove that she's in Dubai with these two Moshimiwas and that Natalie Tewa is also there. The third issue is a question about morality. These two men are actually married, but we have to mention that they're also Muslim. Last but not least was the attempted cover-up. When these guys landed, a mysterious lady was actually carrying the bag. But no one believes that the handbag actually belongs to that lady. So the two Moshimiwas are back in the country, and Natalie Tewa is also back to posting on her Instagram account. She took a break mysteriously when all this drama broke loose. She hasn't addressed the issue yet, and only time will tell.